Hey Eli, it's got a fantastic news update for you today about a new driver that's released which fixes the trial version of FC24 which you can see on screen but also why it's running at 120 frames per second and what the effect of AMD's motion fluid frames is if you already have FSR3 enabled which has just dropped in Modern Warfare 3. First off, the couple of bug fixes. Yes, there is the official driver coming very soon which we can get in the preview mode and I'll put the links in the description below for the article to get this that does fix the FC24 trial version. Just be warned that if you do run this from game mode that it will look like it's not doing anything and it's better off just to run that from non big picture mode because of the launcher for FC24 it can get stuck in big picture mode so just don't do that. But as you can see the trial version with the time remaining which you saw on the front screen there is working just fine. The other bug fix is that an issue with Bluetooth headphones while connected to an external monitor has been fixed and hopefully we'll see this and the BIOS update that we looked at last week in an official AC update very soon but again we'll link to the article so you can get this for yourself if you want. Now just for the FC24 trial version running on the new driver and also on the auto preset you'll notice that we don't have the issues with the cutscenes we also don't have the issues with the game as it is running on auto it bounces between 40 and 60 in those cutscenes but in the actual game, it pretty much holds a very steady 6 frames per second with occasional dips under that 50 range. But if you do also use the new AMD preview driver, and I'll link to the guide to that as well in the article below, then we can turn on AMD's motion for frames. And as you can see here, that pushes this up to 120 frames and makes it incredibly smooth on the ROG Ally. Now, I cannot stress just how good this looks on the actual screen. You might not get the benefit of it here because YouTube is capped at 60 frames per second. But even when we get the dips in those cutscenes on FC24, it only goes down to around 50 to 60 frames per second and looks absolutely phenomenal still. And we still get a little bit of load stutter, but otherwise just fine. Now, in case you missed it, One Warfare 3 got FSR 3 as an official implementation today. So if you want to run Modern Warfare 3 on the Ally, this is the 30 watt mode and you can tell I am absolutely terrible with a controller. But if we turn on AMD's motion fluid frames as well as FSR 3, it does push it up to 180 frames per second. However, with the AMD motion fluid frames in this type of game, because it keeps enabling and disabling during really fast motion, we get a fair amount of stutter and a bit of input latency as well. So the FSR3 quality mode is actually more than good enough. At this point, I put a mouse and keyboard onto the Ally so that I could do a little bit better. But the latency of AMD's motion fluid frames plus that of my capture card really was a little bit too much. Although it does feel very smooth in a lot of instances, we did also get a lot more jitter. Although the frame time looks like it's a lot better, that input latency was definitely noticeable with FSR3 and the motion fluid frames enabled. But if I turn the motion fluid frames off, although the frame time is a little bit higher overall, it was much more stable. And you'll see that the frames per second on this map even hung around the 130 mark, the frame time around seven to eight milliseconds. And obviously that varies massively on the map, but it was so much more stable on both that frames per second and the frame time overall. So it was much, much smoother without that fluid frames turned on. Now this was running at 900p with the recommended quality preset on the ROG Ally in Modern Warfare 3 and the 30 watt turbo mode as I was plugged into power as well. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be trying out any of these updates or whether you're going to continue to wait for the official AC update. And we'll let you know when that occurs as well. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.